Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 20th through the 21st. This is for Scorpio. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for Sagittarius in love? If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're interested in a personal reading, that link for the website is down below the video, guys. Let's see what's going on for my Saggies today. Sagittarius in love, please show me messages for Sagittarius in love. Please show me. Nine of Swords. Maybe that's why I said Scorpio, because Scorpio got the Nine of Swords twice. That's a lot of miserable thinking, okay? An overactive imagination, feeling like you want to move on, but just kind of being stuck in your own like pain and grief is what that is. Gemini energy there. Oh, wow. Then we have the tower. Huh. Scorpio energy. Something shocking, something revealing. Something that happens sudden, suddenly. Let's see what else. Oh, and then death, another Scorpio card. There's something here that has ended. But it needed to happen. It needed to happen here because something something was not something wasn't built on a firm foundation there was really like no validity to whatever this was and I'm thinking that you guys maybe um, it's, it's like been a long time coming but um, you were kind of holding on to something or somebody was kind of holding on to something here that probably should have been put to bed. Okay. Two of Cups. Hmm. Let me pull some more cards here to go up under these so I can get a better picture of what's really going on here. Please show me more about the Nine of Swords. The Fool. Aries energy. Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini. Please show me more about the Tower. The Five of Pentacles. A lot of you just cannot stop thinking about something that ended, that you were not expecting for it to end, or you weren't expecting for it to end the way that it did. It left you feeling very um, hurt and rejected, um, and you've been holding on to what has happened. And I think you're finally, you know, getting to a point where you know, you realize that, you know, something had to change in this situation. Um, it had to happen the way that it did. And I think you're finally come, coming to grips with it and, and transforming your energy is what I'm getting here, okay? Please show me more about death. Yeah. You're transforming your energy. You're rebuilding yourself is what I'm getting here. Because I feel like something really tore you to pieces. Something really tore you to pieces here. And um, where you felt really left out, rejected, um, hurt, basically destroyed. Some of you guys, I feel like, you know, you were actually put out of the house here. And, um, and, and that left you feeling like um, really broken up really broken up over this. Please show me more about the Two of Cups. Then we have the Five of Cups there. For 
for others of you, you guys are hurt and you're thinking about how you hurt someone else. How you left the situation, leaving somebody feeling really broken down, destroyed to go out and do your own thing. And leaving this person feeling hurt and rejected. I'm feeling like now some of you guys have changed your minds. And, and are now wanting to rebuild a connection to, to work with this individual, to grow with this individual, to compromise in this situation with this individual. Because there's somebody that you love here. But with this Five of Cups energy, you feel like there is no going back. Okay. Let's see what energy is coming in for you guys. What energy is coming in for Sagittarius. Ooh. What energy is coming in for Sagittarius. Six of Swords. Moving on. There's two people in that card, though. What else? Moving forward. Investing. Moving forward and investing um, the time that it takes to actually rebuild a connection. Or rebuild something, rebuild yourself even, if this is you guys who have felt um, torn down by a relationship. This is actually you working on you, rebuilding yourself, realizing that you know there's other love out there for you. That whatever happened to you or whoever was in your life previously that hurt you is not the end all be all. Okay, that is what this is moving forward, investing your time in places that um, that's going to bring you the success that you're looking for. Okay, why is this happening? Why is this happening for Sagittarius? Why is this happening? The devil energy there. What else? And the tower again. Huh. Somebody here I feel has been broken down. Okay. And what I mean by broken down is sometimes people have to hit rock bottom or what they would consider rock bottom for them to really take notice. There's somebody here that's had a rude awakening that is taking notice of their situation, things that they have done, um, how they may have contributed certain things to the demise of a situation um, for whoever this message is for. Uh, if you guys felt really beat down and broken down by somebody, somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to make things right. Somebody realizes that they really made a mistake. Okay. They feel like, um, you know, you guys had some, you had a toxic connection. And realizing that maybe they, you know, had a lot to do with why the situation was toxic. But I'm getting that all that's been leveled with that tower energy being there. Somebody's want to rebuild something here. Okay, so we have Scorpio and Aries. Um, I feel strongly Capricorn. Um, Cancer's here, Taurus is here, Aquarius is here, and Gemini. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.